In the last few years, I've attended a lot of seminars about many importations, read different books, and watched a lot of videos about many importation. There are so many things you need to know about many importation if you want to make money from the business. Unfortunately, much of the training I've attended, there are so many things they didn't talk about, and that is what I want to share with you in this video. When you know this, this is going to help you to save a whole lot of money and it's going to prepare you against whatever that will happen in the business. So the first thing I want to let you know in this business is the cost of advertising. When you join the mini importation business, obviously you want to start selling your product on the internet. And one thing I need to let you know about this is you're going to spend some money to advertise your business. Though much of the training talks about advertising your business on Facebook, on classified ads website or even on Google. However, they did not talk about the cost of advertising. In most cases, the cost of advertising of this business is very high. If you don't have the money to run advertising for your business, you're likely not going to get some sales and you're not going to make money from this business. And this is going to be a big frustration. And at the end of the day, you're going to be one of the people who complain that many importation is not profitable as advertised by the gurus. So you need to know. There's cost of advertising when you're joining this business and this is going to be one of the major issues that can prevent you from making money from mini importation. The second thing I want to talk about is the delivery problem and the return. Here in Nigeria, one of the major problems you face if you are into mini importation business is the delivery problem. Here, when you use the delivery company to deliver your order, you're likely going to have some hiccups. Probably you get a lot of returns or you don't even get your product delivered at all or your money hangs outside. So when you see this, delivery problem is one of the major challenges we're facing. And if you search on Facebook now, you see a lot of guys are talking about personal or self-delivery because they have noticed a lot of frustration from the Korea companies and different options. And if you want to use some of these other companies that are into the business for a very long time, it's going to be very expensive. So the delivery problem and return is another thing you probably didn't know about mini importation business here in Nigeria or wherever you are in the world. The next one I have is the high rate of competition. Everyone is joining the mini importation business. If you talk about anything online, you're going to see mini importation. People from different places, they talk about mini importation. Unfortunately, this is causing a lot of competition and the higher the competition, the less money you're likely going to make in this business and this is going to be a big disappointment for the newcomers. So know this before joining the business, there's likely going to be increase in competition and this is likely going to affect the numbers of sales you get from the business. The next one I have is fake products. Many importation actually involves importing products from foreign countries, mostly from China. The interesting thing about this is you can get a lot of things at the cheaper rate from these countries, but unfortunately, much of these products are fake. So if you're getting something from this company, if you don't know, you are likely getting a lot of products that are produced in the fake standard. And this is going to be a very big slab for the reputation you're building for your business. So when you're importing from any of this country, be aware that you are likely importing a lot of fake products into the country. And this is going to affect your reputation. And at the end of the day, it might not be a good thing for your business. So you need to know about this, that fake product is likely one of the things you'll be importing into the country if you are joining many importation business and the last one i have on my list is the ads account suspension when you're advertising this business either on google facebook or wherever you're advertising on the internet you're likely gonna notice a lot of people complaining their ads account has been suspended these are some of the things you probably don't know about many importation business you're gonna be using facebook or google or some classified ads website to advertise your business if you are doing this at a particular time, you might notice your ad account being suspended for policy violation or for one issue or the other. If you are experiencing this, you might not be able to advertise your business again and you might not be able to sell your product. This is going to be a very big problem because a lot of people are complaining about this and this is affecting business. So this is one of the major challenges in many importation business. If you don't know about it, now you know. Prepare yourself and this is going to help you when you start a business and it's going to help you to make money selling your product on the internet. I believe you've learned one or two things from this video and I believe you'll be able to use this information to improve your mini importation business and make more money on the internet. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.